White magic and black magic are both demonic. I'm gonna explain the difference between the two. Watch all the way to the end if you haven't already. Like this video, hit that bell icon for notifications, subscribe to the channel, it's about to get real. Let's talk about it. The difference between black magic and white magic. If you know my testimony, I come from deep witchcraft. I've practiced voodoo, hoodoo, practiced shamanism. I've studied Islam, Buddhism. I've studied all types of stuff. Um, I used to read cards, tarot cards, um, chakra balancing. I used to sh uh, balance chakras with pendulum crystals. So I have experience and I know I'm educated on the subject. So I'm just going to read and explain the difference between the two. So black magic, all right? It's often considered to involve the use of supernatural powers or rituals for malevolent purposes. It is associated with practices that are intended to harm, manipulate, or control others. The motives behind black magic can include revenge, power, or personal gain. It is often portrayed as the darker or negative side of mag magical practices. So it's supposed, like, let's say, for, for instance, someone gets cheated on. They go do black magic to hurt the person, the one that the person cheated on them with or the other or the one that actually cheated, right? That, or someone that might be going through an abusive relationship. They'll go try to do, they go to the voodoo, the voodoo priest or the witch or the warlock to do black magic to hurt them. You see, or if they want power, they want, you know, over a territory, let's say they're a drug dealer. A lot of drug dealers do witchcraft. A lot of them. I was one of them when I was in the world for power, for personal gain, for money. So some drug dealers, they need personal gain and money. That's why you see a lot of these gangs, they wear beads like in New York and different places, like in New York City, they wear the same beads as a lot of these voodoo um, religions and they don't even know, like the green and yellow, the red and black, like the white and blue. Like these are actually like, those beads are what they wear, the voodoo priests wear and people who are in that practice. So black magic is associated with more of the harm to murder somebody that crossed you or someone owes you money to, to hurt them and cause them to get sick. Let's talk about white magic. So white magic, on the other hand, is typically associated with practices that are intended to benefit others or promote positive outcomes. It is often considered a form of magic that aligns with moral and ethical principles. White magic may involve healing, protection, spiritual growth, or divination for, for benevolent purposes. It is often portrayed as the positive or light side of magical practices. No, no. I'm just going to say this right now. They try to make it seem like white magic is good. It's not. What you're doing is you're manipulating in the spirit realm. You're manipulating things with demonic spirits. It's, it's, it's deception. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. White magic and black magic are both demonic. Both of them. You need to cancel both of them because none of them are good. You're, you're channeling ancestral spirits or demons or spirits that are supposed to protect you for both sides. You don't need to go to the herbalist to get healthy. You can go straight to Jesus and he could supernaturally heal you. God can take you through a healing process as well. But what people do, and by the way, there's no, there's no issues with eating healthy, with going vegan, with having teas and, and, and taking supplements. That's, that's a good thing. Vitamins, taking care of your temple. Great thing. Use wisdom. But, when people take the herbs and they, they do rituals and mix them together and put other things and, and pray over them and do all types of weird stuff and, and then, and, you know, put it under your bed and, you know, put these herbs under your bed and you'll wake up, you'll wake up healed or put this egg under your bed. I know this from personal testimony. I remember a witch told me to put an egg that she did a ritual over under my bed for protection. I remember when she took the egg and cracked it, there was a black spider in it. It was crazy. It was very supernatural. It was real. It was very real, but it was demonic. It was wrong. It's a ritual. It wasn't for protection. It was to add demons in my life. So I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys all this because some of you are probably, or have clicked on this video that are not born again and saved. I was deep into all that witchcraft. My life changed. I got healed from a disease that I had for nine years, supernaturally by Jesus Christ on a three day water fast, praying to Jesus. I got delivered from demons. I got delivered from addictions. I got delivered from depression, suicide. I got delivered from anxiety. I got delivered from soul ties. I got delivered from the addiction to pornography. I'm talking about 
by Jesus himself, by the power of his spirit, the Holy Ghost, I got delivered and set free. God changed my life. I'm talking about complete 180, all by his spirit. I didn't have to go to a herbalist. I didn't have to go to no witch, no warlock. Man, I gave up all that stuff. I burned all the altars, got rid of all the beads. I used to wear sets of beads, many different beads, many different necklaces. I used to have a $300 evil eye that they got straight from Africa. I mean, they literally took the metal from a shipwreck in Africa and put it together. Each bead and, and the actual evil eye was made of metal. It was an expensive one that they did a ritual over. And this whole thing, I was wearing that along with the beads under my shirt. Everywhere I went, I wear those things. I had altars with statues and I would put herbs and different things onto the deities and burn candles all night and day, literally burning sage all up in my house, big old crystals, a thousand dollars, like the, like the expensive ones that are almost like a thousand dollars at my front door, the pendulum crystals, balancing chakras. I did, all, I put the salt in the corners. I did all those things and none of it, none of it gave me fulfillment and purpose. It was constant works and I was still dealing with oppression. I was still dealing with anxiety. I was still dealing with murder and anger. I was still dealing with, 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 with schizophrenia in a way. Like it was making me go crazy. And I never dealt with schizophrenia in my life. When I came to Christ, he completely delivered me of everything. Gave me a wife, three beautiful children, two boys and a girl, amazing, a spirit-filled, anointed, on point, protected. Now I'm pastoring a ministry. I'm a pastor. Some of you might have clicked on this video that never seen my page just because of the title. Black ver black magic versus white magic. But let me tell you something. Don't do, do not go down the rabbit hole I went down. I'm telling you it's going to lead you somewhere you don't want to go. And God has mercy on grace on whom he chooses. Not everybody has the same grace and mercy. Don't risk it, man. Now is the time to give your life to Christ. If you want to give your life to Christ, take our free discipleship course. It's free. It's free. You can get plugged in and you can learn so much and you could be born again, filled with the Holy Ghost, the highest power. I'm telling you, I've searched it all. I've traveled the world. I've made all the money, had all the girls, the cars, properties, I had everything I wanted, but I was empty inside. So give your life to Christ and comment down below if this video touched you. Comment your experience. If you have a testimony, because there are people who read these videos, who actually watch these videos and read the comments and they, because they're concerned, they're, they have questions. They might be dealing with anxiety or whatever it is. And um, I'm going to say a prayer before I get off this and they might be dealing with whatever. So they read the comments for information. So comment your testimony down below. Comment some information down below. Let's encourage, let's help the people out. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus for anybody watching, Lord, every demonic spirit has to go right now in Jesus' name. Come up and come out and leave. I bind every unclean spirit in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, may you touch them right now with your peace, with your love and your joy. Jesus, may you encounter them in such a mighty way, Lord, that they would surrender. Touch them right now, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We bless them. We bless them. We speak life, salvation, repentance, healing, deliverance over their life. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. If you need prayer, if you're dealing with witchcraft, if you just came out of the occult or you're coming out of the occult and you're dealing with it and you need help, comment down below. And I want all my prayer warriors to look through the comments and I want you to like and comment on those who, are, who need prayer and say, hey, I'm praying for you, man or woman of God, because the internet is what saved me. God used the internet to draw me in. I saw a video of a man of God casting demons out of a Reiki healer. That led me to Christ. His, his, his online platform led me to a woman who prayed for me. You don't know who can help you. That's why we have this free discipleship course. So take the discipleship course, get plugged in, in Jesus' mighty name. Hey, what's going on, family? God bless you all. Make sure if you liked this video, click that like button. Also, go comment down below what you liked about the video. Click the bell icon for more notifications and go share this video to all your friends and family. Also, there are many accounts impersonating me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I will never ask you for money through WhatsApp. So if you get someone impersonating me with a fake account, make sure to block it and report it. Also, if you'd like to partner with us, click 
the description down below on the video and you'll see all the ways to partner. We appreciate all those who help us expand this vision to the nations, partnering with us in prayer and financially. We thank you so much. And also those who partner with us, liking the video, commenting down below, clicking that bell notification and sharing it to all your friends and family. We thank you. The gospel is being spread throughout the nations. People are getting saved, delivered and healed. The Lord Jesus Christ is being glorified. Thank you for all our partners in Jesus name.